Hello, my name is Tierra Sargent and I am a student with the NABJ Student Projects and I am here with Stanley Nelson. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good. So Mr. Nelson is the director of HBCU Rising, which is showing here at NABJ tomorrow. So can you tell us a little bit about the film and why now? Why is it important for this film to be shown? Well, I mean, I, I think the thing to know is that when we started the film, you know, four or five years ago, okay. um, and I, I've been probably thinking about it for 10 years mm -hmm. before that, so I think the time is always right for a yeah. film on HBCUs, since there really hasn't been anything done uh, comprehensively about HBCUs. Mm -hmm. um, but I think now is an especially, you know, important time in this country. Um, I think HBCUs hopefully will take uh, uh, a very central place in, in uh, the coming years, so we're going to have President Trump. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, what should so Trump just met with our HBC presidents, mm -hmm. and so what do you tell students uh, to put some pressure on their administrators or keep them accountable to make sure they're getting that funding, but still holding true to our mission and our values? Well, I think it's important that that, that students understand that <coughs> HBCUs over the last 50 or 60 years, even before that, have been pushed by students. Mm -hmm. You know, it's students who, who push the HBCUs forward, mm -hmm. who, um, who make sure that HBCUs feed our health and fire. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, you know, administrators of HBCUs, their main goal, part of their main goal is to protect the students, you yeah. know, is to keep the students safe. But, you know, it, it's it's students at HBCUs who led the sit-in movement, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the 60s. It's, it's uh, students at HBCUs who led the Freedom Rides. It's mm -hmm. students at HBCUs who led um, the voter registration drive in the South. So, you know, it, there's a long history of students actually leading the administration in progressive movements at HBCUs. Yes, definitely. So your story is showing how we have led these movements. So what else can we expect? from your story in your film? Well, the film is really, uh, you know, it's 150 year, over 150 year history, mm -hmm. you know, in 80 minutes. But <clears throat> I think that one of the things we realized early on that it was, the way to do this was to tell stories. Mm -hmm. So really the film tells stories, you know, okay. seven or eight different stories uh, during this, this 150 year history of HBCUs leading to the final chapter which in the film, which is about HBCUs today. Definitely. So, um, can you talk a little bit about how you're going to ensure that this story is shown on mainstream so that everyone can understand the value of HBCUs and the importance of it? Well, you know, uh, part of, uh, of our, our program to get the film out there <coughs> will climax uh, when the film is shown on PBS on okay. February 19th of 2018. So, so one of the things that we're doing until then is leading up to, to that by, by having screenings all around the country you know, at, here at, at NABJ, but also we'll be at, at uh, 10 or so uh, HBC group campuses. We're doing major screenings in five cities, you know, including Chicago at the Sabo, New York City at the Apollo, Washington DC at the National Museum. Um, so, you know, we'll be doing that um, and doing everything we can to get people, you know, motivated to not only see the film, but, uh, you know, also to hold screening parties, to tell their friends. Mm -hmm. You know, so many times, you know, as African Americans, you know, we don't use the power that we have. You know, we do have power, you know. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, I'd say, you know, everybody's got a whole network in their pocket on, on mm -hmm. their phones. And yeah. So we're asking people to, to get in contact with their networks and let them know about this film and that this film will be on national TV. Okay, so if a student from a campus or a parent or an alum wants to show this film in their hometown or their school, can you tell our audience how they can do that? And also, can you tell us where we can follow you on social media? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the simplest way to, to find out more information about the film is on hbcurising.com. Okay. I think that's probably the, the, you know, the one simplest way mm -hmm. to find out. You can find out all different ways that you know, there's screening parties, mm -hmm. um, there, there's so many different things that you can do by, by doing that. Um, I'm not sure how to contact me on social media, so I'm not the guy to ask. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for talking with us, and we hope to uh, talk with you further after the film tomorrow. That'd be great. All right, thank you.